parents, listen up. A new play center has just opened up in downtown Northville. And what sets this one aside from the others is the fact that children learn while they play. 7 Action News reporter Allie Hoxie is at Stemville now to show us some of the activities uh, for the kids there. And Allie, what's it like? Well, Keenan, I bet you're going to want to come here with your kids. Take a look. We got these giant Legos for building whatever kids can think of. And then we've got mag formers and I was even lucky enough to find one in the shape of a princess. So I am very happy this morning and also take a look over here. WXYZ being represented here at Stemville today. It's hard to think that this isn't all about having fun. This is also about learning. This is like really cool. If your child likes to puzzle solve, look no further than Stemville in downtown Northville. Parents checking out Stemville for the first time tell me they're impressed. Definitely creative and fun for the kids. Lots of different colors and activities. The concept for this play place is based off of STEM learning. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. I think there's a big focus nowadays to get your kids involved in these subjects at an early age, especially with the way that the world is going. Northville moms Kristen Arneson and Andrea Harrington are co-owners of Stemville. They thought this idea up together over New Year's, and now, eight months later, they're open, ready to take in children who love to learn. Obviously, there's nothing out there like this, so we didn't know what reaction we would get. Um, but it's been a positive one. So in the way of toys, that means robots for coding, toys for building, and technology ready to be taken advantage of. There's nothing else where it's like learning, but also fun, especially downriver, which is where we're from. Now, if you want to get involved here and check out Stemville for yourself, you can check out ours prices on our website at WXYZ.com. Reporting live in Northville, Allie Hoxie, 7 Action News. Yeah, that's